Hey, it's Randy from Voices and welcome back to another video. It is so good to see you here today. Today we're talking about using Audacity for voiceover. Now Audacity is an awesome program. It's free. There are no conditions, no catches. It's free software that you can download on Mac or PC. So you might be wondering, well, it's free. So how good could it be? The truth is it's got just about every tool that you need to get started in voiceover. Of course, as you start to invest more money into higher quality software, you get better reliability, uh, better access to third party plugins, more built in plugins, more features and that sort of thing. But when you're getting started, Audacity is really a great place to start. As far as quality goes, just about every DAW will record audio the exact same way. The quality really comes from your microphone and your interface. So as long as you have a recording program that you can jump in and make edits, the quality is going to be just about the same across any software. Without any further ado, let's jump into Audacity here and I'll show you how this program works. So this is Audacity here. And now the first thing that we want to do is get our microphone and our outputs set up. So basically we want to make sure that the sound is going in with the microphone that we paid money for and not the microphone on the back of our computer. So we'll go over to this microphone icon here and click this drop down. And you can see it's giving me a few options. These are specific to my setup based on different types of gear that we have plugged in. So the built-in microphone, that's probably what it's gonna say when you turn it on for the first time. The built-in microphone, that's like the microphone on the back of your computer. You don't wanna use that. Uh, so you'll wanna use your USB microphone or your interface. You'll see those show up here. So in this case, I'm gonna click my interface and it's gonna ask how many channels you want to record. So my interface records up to six channels, but we just want one for voiceover. And then we wanna make sure that our output is also selected up as our interface. So if I wanna wear headphones that are plugged into my interface, I'll be able to hear that. If you're plugging your headphones into the back of your computer, you just wanna use this built-in output option. Now we can test to make sure that our sound is getting into Audacity. So something that's interesting is if I click start monitoring, you can see that nothing happens. It should be showing my voice there. Now that's because my microphone is actually coming in on channel four. So I have to actually select channel four and now if I click start monitoring, you'll notice it still doesn't show anything. That's because this only shows channels one and two or left and right. This is a bit of a downside of Audacity. And that's what I mean about it missing some features. If you're using an interface that has more than two channels, you won't be able to see your recording. But if I press record here, check, 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 hey, 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 testing, testing, you can see that my audio is coming in on channel four here. So there's just unfortunately no way to monitor that. For the purposes of this demo, I will delete this and I'll switch over to the built-in output. So this isn't gonna be this microphone, but it will, you'll be able to see these levels here. So if I click start monitoring, you should see, yep, yeah, there's my sound, it's getting in. So that's a good practice just to make sure your levels are adequate. Now you can also change your recording volume. This is digital gain. So if you have an interface, you wanna set that level on your interface and just keep this at the default level. But if you have a USB microphone, this will also be where you change that input level. Now, of course, where this says built-in microphone, this will be your microphone, whichever one you're using. The built-in output will be whichever output you're using. But we generally speaking, we always wanna leave this on mono one channel. So just like that, we're all set and ready to record. So I'll go ahead and click record here. This is the best voiceover that I can possibly do for my Audacity demonstration. And just like that, we have some audio recorded in. And what's great about Audacity is you can just highlight a section here and you can press delete or backspace and it's gonna automatically truncate that section, makes editing really quick and convenient. And of course, if you wanna add any effects, you can just highlight the region here. We'll go up to effect and you can add in any of these effects like compression, EQ, anything to sweeten your recording to help you land that job. And that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about Audacity, let me know down in the comments below. I personally moderate our YouTube channel and I go through all the comments myself. So if you guys have any questions, I'm more than happy to give you more information or show anything that I may have missed in this video here. As always, happy auditioning, and we'll see you guys in the next one.